Good evening, everybody. Thanks for joining us tonight. There are new concerns over the structural integrity of Aloha Stadium. This comes after a fan reported a crack below their seat at the University of Hawaii football game last Saturday. Sam Spangler joins us now with tonight's top story. Sam. Dash, a Rainbow Warrior fan was sitting in the orange section of the stadium when he noticed a large crack below his seat and a piece of rust dislodged. Today, I spoke to a building construction engineer about the pictures and the latest structural report on the stadium. These pictures were taken Saturday night as the Rainbow Warrior football team hosted Fresno State. National building expert Lance Luke wasn't overly concerned about the crack, but is about January's corrosion report on the stadium. So much so, he says he would not attend an event there. No, I wouldn't. It's kind of scary unless uh, sections are blocked off. The stadium is made of steel, which has rusted over since it opened back in 1975. I think the general public would, if they don't understand engineering terms or how to read the report, just go back and look at the photos. Those photos are very alarming to me. A lot of cor corrosion, a lot of rusted areas, there's corroded structural members. Some of the bolts are missing. Uh, some of the weld joints are separated, and it's kind of scary. Aloha Stadium released this statement in response to the pictures. As a 44-year-old facility, the stadium is showing its age, but we continue to proactively discover and address health and safety-related concerns. We do this through the guidance of a licensed forensic structural engineering firm that performs structural safety inspections and evaluations for the stadium. This process is modeled on similar inspection programs for all public roadway bridges nationwide. If you read the report, not every item was inspected. A lot of out of uh, 30, 40 beams, nine were inspected. So that report, although it's a good report, it's not conclusive. It doesn't have enough information to make a determination. The stadium needs $30 million in improvements to remain operational the next two years. Former Mayor Mufi Hanneman says that is good reason to make sure the new Aloha Stadium project remains on schedule. We have to have a new stadium. Uh, and as I said, I appreciate the hard work and preparation that Scott Chan and his staff have been putting into it, but, you know, money is tight, budget is limited, and it'll just be cosmetic fixes. Now, that new Aloha Stadium Entertainment District is set to break ground later next year with a planned opening in 2023. The public comment section for that project closes on Thursday. Lauren, back to you.